Now, for many people, it is a New Year's Day tradition to watch 18 million flowers. Now, what are we talking about? The Rose Parade, of course. We talked to the man with a green thumb to see what goes into all the flowers and the floats. Did you catch the 127th tournament of the Roses Parade on New Year's Day? It was right here on Kagan 9 ABC. Well, while you were sitting back and ooing and eyeing at the spectacular floats, there was so much going on behind the scenes to make all of that happen. To get an inside scoop, who else would we turn to other than HGTV's Paul James, star of the Gardener Guy. James, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Tina. So, Paul, I have to, you know, let's start out by, you know, 127 uh, years of doing this, but kind of break down what the parade is really about. Well, it's, it's about the floats. It's certainly, it's about equestrian events, marching bands, other things, but primarily we're talking about floats, like this one here from Dole Packaged Foods. You know, the, this is just tropical. It just screams tropics, and it's actually called Soaring Over Paradise. But you know, if you're a plant geek like me, then this is a float that you can just ooh and ah over for a long time. This is also gonna have, there's a 26 foot zip line on this float. So somebody's gonna be going back and forth on that zip line for the duration of the parade. And there'll be four waterfalls running during the parade. Pretty cool. Behind me is from Miracle Grow. It's called Life Starts Here. And it's kind of about realizing that you can find an adventure in your own backyard garden, something I can attest to. And one of the things I love about the float, beyond the fact that it's just gorgeous, is that some of the plant material on there, all of it came from California, but a portion of it came from just regular California backyard gardeners who donated plants so that they could be applied to the float. I love that. From Northwestern Mutual, Tina, this is called Dancing Into Adventure. And this is really all about a woman named Peyton Richardson. She's 13. She's an aspiring ballerina who is battling leukemia. So she's going to be riding on the float with her family. But one of Peyton's dreams has always been to dance in Swan Lake. So they have this ballerina here that will be in motion during the parade. And it really is just a gorgeous float. And then finally, from the California Milk Advisory Board, we have the reminder that you can have a real culinary adventure with California dairy products. So we've got all kinds of dairy products depicted. This represents the 1,400 families in California, dairy farmers, who make California the number one milk producing state in the country. We've got cheeses, we've got yogurt, we've got, of course, milk, and we have my personal favorite, butter. You like this, Tina? Oh yeah, you know butter makes everything better. So Paul, if you had to say there was <laughs> you're, one thing- You're that, my kind of girl. I know. Well, if you had to say there was one thing maybe that people would be surprised to learn maybe about the floats or the flowers or maybe even like the cleanup, what would you say would surprise somebody? The most surprising thing would be to realize how many dedicated volunteers it takes to make all this happen. We're talking about people who travel from all over the country who give up their vacation time, their sick leave, to just come here and be a part of the parade. And they're responsible for painstakingly applying all the different materials. And so, like here, you know, you've got lentils, you've got onion seeds. I mean, it just, all this has to be applied by hand with special glues. It's just, it's all about the volunteers, honestly. I think that makes it what it is. Well, and of course, they have great experts like you, Paul, to be there to help them with all of the flowers and to make sure all of that goes great. I want to thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Tina, Happy New Year to you, and thank you. Happy New Year. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.